Hey friends, in today's video I wanted to go through and show you how I created a vibrant illustration of a hummingbird in 10 steps. This is my way of doing it and I also want to say you don't need the materials that I'm using. It's not about what you have, it's about how you use what you have. However, I will say I do love and adore this Holbein pastel set and I definitely recommend it, but it is a little pricey. But you don't need it, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anyways. I will see you in a minute. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so my first step would be to pick out a colorful reference photo that just catches your eye. If you're interested, I constantly collect and organize reference photos on my Pinterest when I'm bored, so if you want to follow me on there, I'll leave a link down below so that way you don't have to struggle picking out a picture. I have a ton that you could choose from. And so that's the first step. Just choose something that draws your eye, and then from there, like with any drawing, I like to block out the major shapes I see. I sometimes do this step with pencil and use a kneaded eraser to lighten my marks, but today I used a dark blue colored pencil. And exactly how I blocked out the major shapes that I saw in the beginning, I also like to block out the major colors that I see to help me as I make color layers throughout the drawing. I did this step lightly, so it's kind of hard to see here, um, but that just helps as you layer your way through. As you begin layering your colors, I like to start with the lightest and brightest colors that I see and work my way up. Any color pencil illustration is just a series of layers, really. Um, so that's what I do. That also for me looks like I like to just stay in my whole bind set, but again, you don't need it. I love and adore the set, but you don't need it. <laughs> um, so that's what I do. I stay in that set for as long as I can until I start to need a little more contrast.
Okay, so after I have laid down my lightest and brightest colors, I then begin to incorporate feature characteristics such as uh, feathers, for example, just to make sure that there is depth and that those uh, features don't get lost within the drawing as you begin to layer up. And then after that, you are going to kind of flow into your transition colors. So once you're confident with your color layers, your beginning color later la layers, um, begin to incorporate those transition colors that you see that are in between the dark and light colors. Around the stage is usually when I use my darker transition colors to begin to define my drawing. Um, and then I also begin to incorporate uh, my darker values as well. Um, this is just where the contrast and definition begins. And I love this step because I can now see the drawing come to life. Um, in this stage, it's kind of a series of drawing and layering. And then from there, I like to use dark colors to kind of finalize the image and yeah do final rendering. And last but not least, our final step is to highlight. I'm using a Prismacolor color pencil as well as a Posca pen to put in those final highlights and finishing details. And that's it. I hope this encouraged you to not be afraid of color and make something that inspires you. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you consider subscribing. Bye.